Today was a really momentous day in modern history. It's the day that The Sun decided to stop having topless models on page three of their newspaper. Now, I know that I won't, still won't be buying a copy of The Sun anytime soon because of all sorts of other reasons. And, and I still believe that women are objectified in the media and objectified on the pages of The Sun. But I think the really exciting thing about today is that it shows that a group of grassroots feminists who organise through social media can force the arm of the Murdoch empire and make them do what they want them to do, even if it's just a little bit, even if we've got loads more work to do. I think that that's really exciting. Um, and I think it's something that we should celebrate. We should celebrate all of our vict victories, no matter how small they are. Um, I'd really like to also thank the people at Name no More Page 3 for supporting NUS in their work on lag culture. Um, our work to tackle lag culture has been going on for the last couple of years and it's having a huge impact on campuses, on, on changing and challenging cultures on campuses that make people feel unsafe. We have to recognise that projects like Everyday Sexism, No More Page 3 and our anti-lag culture campaign are all small parts of a bigger agenda that's about making sure that women have a right to feel safe and comfortable in their campuses, in their homes and in their communities. So I think today is really exciting, but obviously it's just the beginning of a much bigger campaign for, the equality, for equality for women.